Hello guys, welcome back. Now in this tutorial, we are going to create another data stream to bring the reservation information into the data cloud. Okay. Right now you can see here, we are under the data stream guest and the data mapping is zero uh, slash zero. So there are no fields map, but don't worry. We'll map it in a minute, but why don't we just finish the data stream part first? So here I'll go back to the data stream and I'll click on new again. And uh, what are the source that I'm bringing the data from? It is present in Amazon S3. So I'm going to select Amazon S3 here and click on next. Now the connection name is Amazon S3. The file type is a CSV file. And here, what is the name of the file? This is the name of the file, Coral Cloud Hotel Reservations.csv. So if you go to this, you'll see this is the name of the file, Coral Cloud Hotel Reservations. And that is exactly what we have chosen over here, Coral Cloud Hotel Reservations. And import from directory, we don't have to provide it because when we were creating the connection, we already gave the directory name, okay? And then hit next here. So we are bringing the reservation information. So the data lake object label, I'm going to call it as reservation. Okay. And the properties it shows, we have to select a category. Now in this case, what type of category the reservation is, it is an engagement category because it does not talk about a particular customer or a profile. It talks about a, it's a behavioral or it's like a verb, right? So the air reservation. So what is profile category? The profile category represents an individual account or other profile. This data is used for segmentation and analytics. Okay. Engagement, the engagement category contains behavioral information means behavior wise, like website clicks, purchases. This is like a purchase, right? Each record captures a distinct action such as a click or purchase taken at a specific time. So with engagement, there will always be a time factor. So and other is anything that is outside uh, of profile and engagement will fall into the other category. The other category contains information unrelated to profile or engagement information such as product or store information. So we have selected the engagement here. Even type field, you can select one of these. We are going to go with check and date primary key here. So what is the primary key for the table? It is reservation. So we're going to go ahead and select the reservation ID as the primary key. Now all the data type looks correct. The check in date is the date type. Everything looks good. One thing if you want to change is the room number. I'll change it to a text just to show you that you can change it. Okay. And all of these special requests is a text taxes and fee here. Uh, you don't have a currency field, so we'll stay with the number. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and click on next here and uh, data stream name is reservation. We'll do a full refresh again. And uh, that is it. Frequency is set to none and deploy. So we created one stream to pull con guest information one stream to pull contact information from Salesforce cloud and the third stream to pull reservation information, right? So data mapping here is also zero zero means it is not able to find the corresponding DMOs, right? So we're going to go ahead and do the mapping in the next tutorial. I'll see you then. Thank you very much.